What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Casey, this is Project Tens. Today we're gonna to be discussing the Blowfish Racing shifter mount for the 2011 Mustang GT. First thing I wanna show you is the, are the parts. Really nice kit. Everything is powder coated, comes with all the hardware you need, the brackets. I mean, check that out. They, they take a lot of uh, pride in their work. So as most of you probably have experienced if you're looking up this shifter mount is a two, three high RPM lockout. Um, especially if you're going down to the drag strip, things like that. I brought my Mustang out for the first time and three or four passes I got locked out every pass going from second to third gear. I immediately started researching it. A lot of people talk about this as being the solution. So I ordered it and while I was waiting for it to come in, well, I kept going to the track and uh, working on my shifting. Last time I was at the track, I did about 10 passes, didn't lock out once. And that was still with the standard remote mount that the MT-82 comes with. So what I think uh, has a lot to do with it, if you're just on a, you know, basic bolt-on Mustang, say 400 horsepower, this mount may not be completely necessary for you. And as I came to find out, it wasn't anything that I need at the moment, but it is something I'm gonna eventually need. So yeah, I'm keeping it, I'm putting it on. I'm gonna give you guys a review here in a little bit after the install. What I do wanna talk about is the shifting and uh, how I alleviated the problem. Let me hop in real quick. So, what I was doing, and maybe it's from other stick shifts that I've driven before, I'd be in second gear, and when I would go to third, I would be pulling the stick shift up and over. And you can watch some of the racing videos that we have posted. I was locking out right there. It would take a lot of time off my ET and just be a, a fight to get into third gear. After doing some reading, some searching, found some advice also from my buddy Eric, kind of teaching me how to actually shift at high speed, because I'm not used to bang shifting. I've just been mostly driving on the street. What you want to focus on is a simultaneous shift up as you engage the clutch. So if we can catch both of these things here, we're just going to go up. Obviously, I'm shifting with the other foot, but you get the point. So it'd be ready, one, two, three, all simultaneous. The other thing you want to do when you're in second gear, don't grab the shifter and try and move it. Open palm and just push straight towards the dash. You don't have to go up and over. That'll get you locked out between the three and five gate. Just open palm, boom, that's third gear. Super easy. After working on this, I had no more lockouts at all. And like I said, I ran about 10 passes last time at the track. Everything was super smooth. So with that said, I am gonna still be installing the Blowfish shifter mount because I do plan on getting this car into 10 seconds. The higher the horsepower and torque you have, the more shift you're gonna be having on the transmission and the more that lockout's gonna be bugging you. So I'm gonna get rid of that by installing this mount, which makes the shifter a solid mount to the transmission you can watch some of the videos i'm not going to go in through a step-by-step -step because first i'll be working on jack stands it's not going to be good lighting uh, there's plenty of videos out there you can look at american racing um, lmr cj pony parts they all have great step-by-step -step tutorials on how to install this mount so that when i build higher horsepower i don't run into this issue later on down the road um, also once you start running drag slicks most tracks do require a um, drive shaft loop, and the Blowfish Racing transmit or shifter mount has a built-in um, drive shaft loop, so that helps a lot there, right? So you get that out of the way as well. Um, I'll talk to you guys about how it is, how it feels when I'm done. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown. A lot of people don't discuss whether or not this is needed. In my opinion, if you work on your shifting 
you can avoid lockout when you're on just the basic bolt-on Mustang with the MT-82. Um, like I said, my last time at the track, 10 runs, not one single lockout. So you just got to really focus on how you shift. I sat in the garage probably about 20 minutes um, before we went to the track that day. Just practice the push forward right as you engage the clutch. All one solid movement at the simultaneously at the same time. And uh, it worked. it worked great. So... Anyways, I'll catch up with you guys here in a minute. I'm just going to get this thrown on. We'll go take it around for a rip. We'll see how it does. guys so we have the blowfish racing shifter mount installed and uh, I can tell you right away it feels a lot better um, really solid on the shifts they feel really clean um, made a big improvement took a little bit longer than I expected but doing it off the floor you know that's just how it's gonna be if you don't have a uh, car lift or something pretty tight down there um, yeah you can do it with the exhaust and the uh, drive shaft there Man, would have been a hell of a lot easier without it. So we're gonna just go through some gears real quick. Oh yeah, that feels good right there. Uh, I used to get a little bit of a grind, one to two. And then I was getting some uh, high RPM lockout, two to three. And I'll tell you what, man, that, that made it shift all through, one through four, really smooth. Um, I'm going to say it's a good good investment. You know, mid-200s, definitely well worth the money. A little bit of a pain to get in, but uh, once she's in there, it's good, and it's going to help out in the long run. Once I get boost on here and we get a lot more twisting going on, having that uh, shifter mounted directly to the transmission instead of the remote mount. I don't know why Ford did that, but they did. You know, contact Blowfish Racing. They take care of that problem for you and a real good solution. So stick around. We got some more upgrades coming for the car. You know, we like to test everything out on the track. So after, uh, after this, I'll give you guys a follow-up next time, next week when we hit the racetrack. Let you know how everything's shifting got the two-step on the exhaust on we're just slowly you know chipping away getting times lower suspensions coming up really hoping that'll get us down into uh into the 12 so make sure you like and subscribe stick around for more racing we've got a couple more projects coming up we haven't revealed yet but uh we'll we'll have new videos coming out soon thanks a lot guys